Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi everyone, this is Telios. In this podcast, I'm going to discuss a survey run by the Mozilla Foundation around attitudes about AI. So this survey was worldwide and around 67,000 people responded. And the findings of this survey, they are very, very interesting. So one of the questions, the first question was, how much do you know about AI? And more than half the people said they have some knowledge or they're well educated around AI. This clearly demonstrates that artificial intelligence is getting more grounds outside of the industry and academia, and we have people like from other professions or even outside of technology uh, being interested in this field. So obviously this question was not asking about the technical knowledge that people might have, but whether they feel they know enough that they more or less understand what AI can do. And obviously that's no wonder here that there's a direct correlation with someone's age and knowledge about AI. So uh, younger people, They seem to be much more knowledgeable than older people around AI. And something else that's particularly interesting is that people seem to have very like mixed feelings about artificial intelligence, with some people saying they're curious, some people saying they're concerned, and some people saying they're excited. So when the Mozilla Foundation further analyzed those results, they discovered that the feelings that people had around AI were different from region to region. So in North America, people are concerned and hopeful around AI. In South America, they're curious and excited. Around Australia, like the Oceania region, they're concerned and hopeful. In Africa, they're curious, hopeful and excited. In Asia, they're excited and hopeful, but in Europe, they're concerned and curious. I think this is something that's very, very interesting, but also demonstrates the problems and the challenges that AI is facing in Europe. So Europeans are very concerned and curious about technology that is going to dominate the 21st century. It's normal for Europeans to be concerned because they had some scandals like Cambridge Analytica, but we see some regulations like GDPR who are, you know, the result of let's say this paranoia around data and AI. So it's clear that when in America, in North America, they're hopeful, in South America, they're excited, in Asia, they're excited and hopeful. But in Europe, people are just curious and concerned. It's clear that the attitudes of the public in Europe are not so much in favor of AI. This is something that we need to change if Europe is going to not be left behind in the AI race. And obviously, besides The region, another important factor that determines someone's feelings towards AI is their age. Yeah, once again, with younger people being more excited and hopeful than pessimistic about AI. So something else that's particularly interesting is that people are divided as to whether they think artificial intelligence will make our lives better or worse. It seems that the people who are most optimistic about AI. They're South Americans, mostly younger people, and also men are more optimistic than women around AI. That's very interesting, but there's really no explanation as to around this gender gap in optimism. And something else, a few other findings of this survey, I'm not gonna read all of them, just going through the most interesting pieces. People from 19 to 44 years of age, they believe that AI will play a huge role and still is playing a huge role in the internet and it will play a role in their job, in the home, in the car, and in their hobbies. Older people, that is 44 years of age above there, believe that AI will play a role in the internet. 
the car and their job, but also they mention as AI being an important factor in medicine and their finances. Um, I guess this is normal, like the first group of people 19 to 44 years old must be very heavily skewed by the younger ones who care a lot about their hobbies, whereas older people obviously care a lot about their health and finances. Another question in the survey was, do you want to learn more about artificial intelligence? And only 8% of the respondents said that they're not interested in learning more about AI. And I find this fascinating because it demonstrates that the public is getting more and more interested about AI. Once again, no surprise, it's mostly younger people that are the most interested in learning more, but also people in South America and Africa. So it looks like many people in developing countries they are probably excited about the opportunities that AI can bring to their countries. And let's not kid ourselves, there are so many things happening in Africa right now, in South America, in Asia, in technology, that I wouldn't be surprised if we see maybe some tech unicorns coming out of Africa, for example, or South America in the next decade. So overall, it looks like the future is bright for AI, even though there's some skepticism, especially in Europe, around how AI is going to impact our lives. But we can be 100% certain that we live in very exciting times, and these times are going to get more exciting <laughs> in the near future. So thank you for being here with me, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.